Hi YouTube, this is Rob, half of Fuzzy Motion, and if you're wondering where I've been, it's because I've been away at an Antarctic research facility looking for the remains of R.J. McCready. Now, I'm not here to talk about that, I'm actually here to talk about the new movie Drive that came out by Nicholas Winding Refn. Now, I was really excited to see this movie. Um, I had seen Bronson. And I knew what this guy was capable of coming over from London, and uh, I was really excited to see what he could do with uh, with an American cast and ensemble, and and, and kind of take it from there. Uh, he has you know great talent, a lot of you know very good looking shots, and his movies look particularly good. And I heard that it was up for uh, for Oscar nomination or something like that. It just got you know rave reviews. Wait, not Oscar nomination. No, it took the. Uh, it took the Independent Film Festival, and I was like, oh my god, i got to see this movie. So I went in. I didn't invite any of my friends. I didn't want to be uh, that guy that brings everybody to a, you know, a weird movie or something like that. I just went by myself. I'm kind of happy I did, because you know what? There were a lot of things I didn't like about the movie. Well, you know what? Let's talk about the things I did like, first of all. Uh, the music was fantastic. I mean, he has a great way uh, with uh, picking musical selections for his films you know the 80s feel is there and it's back again and I love it he's got people like Desire uh, Kavinsky in, in college to uh, to round it out plus a lot of uh, uh, you know creative choices uh, from composers and things to kind of fill the mood out but uh, it really does a good job and it really does set the tone for the rest of the movie um, some of the other things I talked about I'm just look, taking a look at my notes um, Ryan Gosling was a fantastic choice for a driver because you know what I mean he's been in so many other things uh, you know Notebook and uh, that one comedy movie with uh, with Steve Carell which was pretty good you know you wanted to see him in kind of like an action role because he does have the physique he does have that kind of demeanor and that look about him and he plays a great sociopath you know you wonder what's going on in his mind half the time when he's not saying anything which is a problem and I'll get to that in a few minutes um, and the other thing was Carrie Mulligan played a great um, you know love interest, I guess you could call it, to, uh, to Ryan Gosling. You know, she was very soft-spoken. Uh, she wasn't so much of a, I don't know. It, it, was hard to, it was hard to portray her as a love interest. I mean, she was definitely the love interest, but she wasn't so much like a hardcore love interest. She kind of had her own issues and things going on, but she was definitely, you know, something, uh, I don't know how to put it. I mean, she just, she just had a great role, and, you know, she didn't screw it up, okay? That's what I want to say. Now, here's the problem with this movie as I saw it. Um, you know, Patrick and I went back and forth about this a lot, but uh, some of the things I saw, or some of the things I experienced that I didn't like uh, was dialogue or lack thereof. You know, where were the one-liners? You know, the, the Bronson I saw had so much good dialogue and inner dialogue and just awesome, uh, you know, conversations between two characters at any given moment. You know what I mean? And there were so many good, you know, lines that you could take away from that movie. This movie kind of just had sets... And, and, and characters in them, and then they just didn't say anything, you know, for a good 10, 15 seconds. And this happened a lot during the movie, you know. I mean, Nick did a good job of getting everyone in the shot that he could, like these weird angles where, you know, there's three people in the shot, but then there's one person in a, in a, in a, in a mirror somewhere, and you didn't even notice that they were there until you look at it again. You're like, oh, they got him in the shot. That's pretty cool. But really, that's the only thing that's happening. They're looking at each other, whether it's, you know, Driver looking at the kid or, you know, Carrie Mulligan looking at Ryan Gosling or, you know, uh, Shannon and, and, and Bernie looking at each other. Like, they're not saying much. I think the best line in that whole movie was when he said, uh, you know, now this is a bona fide pussy wagon or something like that. And I was, I kind of giggled. And I was like, where's the rest of them? You know, wasn't anything else there. Um, Albert Brooks, the guy that plays Bernie, is not a good villain. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not scared by the guy from Little Nemo or Finding Nemo, okay? I just am not. Every time I hear his voice or that little dialogue at the end of the movie, which is in the, you know, the trailer, so I'm not giving away any spoilers, where he's like, you know, you're, you're going to have to run. Look over your shoulder for the rest of your life. I keep thinking, you know, he's going to say, have you seen my son right after that? And it just, it doesn't, it doesn't hit me with as much force. There's a million other different people they could have picked for that. A million other different people. Uh, right off the top of my head, uh, think about the guy that played Marv from Sin City. Can't think of his name right now. He would have been perfect. I know he's in that new movie with like the Titans and, and shit like that, but he would have been perfect for that role. Okay. In fact, anybody else would have been perfect for that role. Anybody else with like a sinister voice and just you know somebody who you don't know what their their motivations are. Somebody who you, like you're very, I don't know, you're very suspicious of. Um, and 
The last thing is, and this is really what bothered me the most about the movie, is that I felt that none of the characters had much motivation to do anything. You know, this doesn't surprise me coming from, you know, Bronson, which Bronson didn't really have any motivations, but that was kind of like a, a true life story. You know, I'm starting to think that Nick Winding Refn's strength does not lie in character motivations because none of these characters had motivations to do much of anything. You know, even from the beginning, like the whole partnership thing, they weren't really doing it out of necessity. They were kind of just, I mean, Bernie was doing it, you know, was, was doing it just because he, he had nothing else to do. You know, the whole thing with the uh, standards protection money, uh, they're just being a bunch of dicks. Uh, and, you know, I know that there was a, a big uh, plot, and I don't want to give away a lot of the movie, you know, a big plot to kind of do something else stupid. But really, you know, none of this, none of these characters had any strong convictions about anything they were doing. In fact, they were kind of ambivalent about it, you know. Uh, Bernie kills somebody later on in the movie, and, you know, he's just kind of like, I'm sorry, I didn't want to have to do this. You know, and that's really what everybody's motivation is. You know, I'm sorry I didn't mean for it to come like t to come to these terms. Nobody was just you know kind of like it's either this or nothing. And I feel like when you have a character as 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 strong and as awesome as the driver was, you can't just waste his actions on something that you're not 100 percent sure of. You know what I mean? He can't just do that, do the things that he did in that movie just based on the fact that like oh you know, it's kind of what needs to be done. No, it has to be like it. it there has to be a huge divide because if you don't give him 100% absolute conviction, now he kind of looks like just a, a serial killer, you know? And that's kind of like what happened throughout the, the entire movie. I mean, he does have some traumatic shit happen to him, but it's not like they ever vocalize that or like kind of give you an insight to his brain. He just, to me, kind of looks like, you know, a, a, a psychopath let off of his, uh, his, his medicine and now he's just kind of going on a killing spree and doing what he wants to do and doing what he feels he needs to do but really he ne like he never feels that I don't think he ever kinda we never come to the realization like he needs to do these things you know there are so many other options throughout the movie that he could he could explore like he could just escape he could take the money he could um, you know just pick up Irene and if Irene kinda if Irene felt the same way about Driver that Driver felt about Irene they would have just picked up the money and left I kind of still don't understand that. Like, why didn't they just pick up the money and go, you know? I know Standard was kind of collateral damage, but, you know, like, how do you, at that point, how do you kind of continue the movie with that little spiff, you know? It's just kind of stupid. So none of those characters had any sort of real motivation. That really, really bugged me. Because now you got a guy who just looks like a psychopath. It's not supposed to be that kind of movie. I don't know. At least I didn't think it was. Overall, I give Driver a 5 out of 10. I wanted to like this movie. I really did. I wanted to just stand up and cheer. And there were a bunch of times I was just giggling throughout the movie because there was a bunch of really like funny but not supposed to be funny kind of scenes and nobody else laughed and it just made me feel weirder. I don't know. And maybe I watched it a couple more times. I'll change my mind. But for right now, it's sitting at a 5 and it's not moving. I'd rather check out Warrior, something else by Nicholas Winning Refn, or like I said before, Bronson. So there it is, folks. There you have it. Now... If you'll excuse me, I've got some aliens I need to take care of. I want to drive you through the night, down the hills.